Hello, and welcome to Vegan Hippopotamus. Today, we are going to start Fallout 4. I cannot hear you in my headphones. Is that a problem? Probably not. I can, I can turn this up slightly. I think that'll oh, okay. There. Oh, my cord wasn't plugged in fully. Oh, that would do it. And yeah, we've, uh, our, we've already checked the sound. A lot. A lot, yeah. We... <laughs> We're having some issues, but... We are finally ready to do this thing, and it has been a long time coming. And yeah. I'm excited. Now, we already have a character made, because I went ahead and just made a character, uh, the character we wanted to use, be other, so we didn't waste a ton of time, of recording time, making him. Which, uh... <clears throat> But he'll probably be he'll probably be in the thumbnail for these videos, so you've already seen him. But we're gonna start for us new game initially anyway, just so we can see the uh, the opening cinematic. Wow, and you're right. Yeah, I didn't notice until we used headphones, but that opening music is pretty freaking loud. I love it. It's very good music. Delicious water. But yes, the. I think this is like the first game in the series where Ron Perlman does not provide the opening narration. And you said he plays like the president or something? No, he was just that dude on the... You thought it was the president. He's just that dude on the TV at the beginning. I'm pretty sure it's just a freaking uh, news anchor. Yeah. Fair enough. Because why would the president be sitting at a desk with papers? That's what news anchors do. War. War never changes. Get used to our character talking. I do wish there were a couple different voices. In the year 1945, I don't mind it. my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I mean, people the world don't typically want to continue Armageddon. war after that. Yeah. Instead, Still, a pretty fucking horrible thing for us to do. Something miraculous I happened. We estimated how bad it was going to be. No. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon. But it's a nearly limitless source of power. Oh yeah, World War II is after. People enjoyed luxuries when, uh, once thought the, the realm of science fiction. From our real world. Domestic robots. And we kind of went full anime. Fusion-powered cars. Portable computers. Oh man, look at that ancient then, pip boy. In the, the 21st world. century. The pip man. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. Yeah, the entire more money world in cigarettes, apparently. Sorry. Peace became a distant memory. I'm kind of surprised that guy could it is now hold that mini gun with, with just to go by himself. We stand on the I doubt he'd be able to fire war. it, though. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. Shadowed. It's that war. War never changes. Oh yeah, and if you think this was, that was a little melodramatic, he's pr he's practicing a speech he's supposed to give. I really like that. Yeah. But yeah, he was just <clears throat> practicing it in the mirror. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, yeah, so... We are, our character is obviously going to look very, very different from this. Again, uh, we're probably going to have him, have our character in the thumbnails for these videos since we're doing just collected thumbnails for each of our game playthroughs now instead of just having it screenshots like a, 
Yes, I know. I saw Avery jump back on you. He just really wants to cuddle you, okay? Yes. Avery had a bit of a scare this morning. Anyway, yeah, so we're not going to subject <laughs> you to us trying to recreate uh, the character on screen, so we will cut away and we will be right back when it's actually done. All right, as you can see, we are done. <laughs> we're going to knock him dead. I mean, literally. If you couldn't tell. What was their name? character's name again? Uh, well, the character's default name is Nate, but we're going to name him Bernie Blaze, because this is going to be like a pyromaniac playthrough we're doing. What is Bernie? Yeah, but it's Bernie with a U, not with an E, because, you know, the word burn. Yes. And Blaze is actually one of the names that Codsworth can say, so he will be calling us Mr. Blaze. Ah, good morning, sir. Not right now, obviously. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, oh, chilled coffee. <laughs> today's newspaper just delivered. I always, oh, you know, I always thought their uh, plasma guns on their arms were like mustard rifle guns, because like it's like a mustard yellow. I mean, for all we know, it could be. No, it's a plasma gun. Wait, why would he need a plasma gun? Because just... they always have them. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's its flamethrower. Excuse me. My favorite. Fucking grog hack. Hmm. More the same. Oh, oh God! It's awake. Oh yeah, have the terrifying you know, talking robot go in and take care of the freaking baby. One of your arms is literally a saw. I swear to God, one of these days, if the if the post apocalypse hadn't happened, we were gonna wake up and he, the baby was gonna be sawn in half or something. Man, sugar bombs. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. <laughs> so it's Frosted Flakes, gotcha. <laughs> Good old USA. Oh. oh yeah, we just, I guess... I, That's a really old flag. Oh no, uh, in Fallout we also use this lo this flag too. Oh, for real? Yeah, remember, after World War II is when it splits from our regular timeline and we just kind of adopted that flag again, I think. <laughs> It's probably that salesman. Or maybe we always had it. adopted it? Okay, fine. We'll answer the door. I mean, that's how we get our stat, our special stats and name our character. I mean, I would like Cosworth to just refer to us as Sir the whole game, but Mr. Blaze will have to do. <laughs> Good morning. Vault Tech Okay, calling. so don't step in, I guess. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how oh, man. happy he's got I am that to Dick Tracy outfit. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. All right. Um, I'm here I'm now. now. <laughs> so you are. <laughs> so you are. Now I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't he's take really up much of your time. time. So a really bad a, salesman. Uh, mm, a precious Let's be nice commodity. To him. No, I'm here if you're a salesman, you need you to be charismatic and charming. That's how you sell things. Especially if you're just walking, you well, not really into people's houses, but up to their doors. Into the local well, you kind of need to practice, though. Vault. Cool. He should have practiced seven. before he got the job. Bet he talked in the mirror a few times. Like, sounds great. Like, no, like seriously, if you'd looked out the window, you'd have seen him coming to our house from a neighbor's house. We are not the first person that he tro did this with. <laughs> Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Oh, there's enough room. Now, Just, you know, not for him for because in the he doesn't get in. <clears throat> Total atomic annihilation. MLM at its best. Am I right? I just MLM. Need to verify some information. That's yeah, he's all. at the bottom of the pyramid. Oh, I'm sorry. ML I'm sorry. Multi-level marketing uh, structure. It's not a pyramid scheme. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yes. Me sure. Let's do it. Yes. Splendid. <clears throat> I made him as strong as I could and gave him the Let's biggest see. chin possible. I can tell. He looks like a young uh, Bruce Campbell with sideburns. I was going for, like, dark-haired Johnny Bravo, but sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Boom. Bernie Blaze. Love it. Okay, now... Let's up that strength to the merch! Now, I was going to say, according to... Uh, 
Now, we'd looked into what l good uh, pyromaniac builds do, and I guess strength is something with that kind of stuff, with that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, wait, shoot. What were the other stats we should have invested in? I think it was... Oh, my God, where is it? Yeah, there we go. Looks like strength, endurance, and intelligence would be our main stats. Oh, all right. It says up that... Uh, the YouTuber that I saw said up those to like eight and just leave everything else at one, basically. If we're doing specific builds, we don't need to even out our stuff. All right. So yeah, what the hell? At least that was not the X like button. Idiot. That's everything. Uh, just gonna yeah, unfortunately, that only happens in the first game, I think. For the future. Um, Who just closed that fucking again. door? Hey, the it's future. Peace of mind. Shut up. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. I oh. swear to God, we probably don't even need weapons. Our pecs could just crush anything that moves. <laughs> also, okay, uh, don't get too heavy yourself. We're not Bill Morgan now. Uh, oh, there we go. You know I like having dial uh, subtitles on Bill because Morgan. we also don't shut the hell up. Yeah, we we do talk a lot. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> my moments. Bernie Blaze. Oh, Frank, let's go see the baby. Mr. Blaze. See? Sean has to change, <laughs> but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You know, if you don't get better at your job, then you're going to regret the fact that we still have your fucking box. Oh, and we'll find a lot of this. This is Mr. Handy Fuel. That's basically propane, isn't it? I mean, someone's done a Hank Hill playthrough of this game. I tell you what. I I would assume oh, it's just the same. Uh, oh my game. God! I can't talk to you. similar to what we're doing. I also gave him. Ar I also gave him the Much jagged better. arched eyebrows and the pouty mouth. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. We're the most handsome pyromaniac in the wasteland. Yes. Sounds fun. And do what? <laughs> Should we be nice to her but just be an asshole to everyone else? I don't know. I don't know. I just like being nice. I mean, it's fun. You've already you've already seen me do the opening and I assume anyone watching this has, you know it doesn't matter. She's not going to survive this. Are you okay? Fine. Yeah. Are you Sounds okay? Like Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? I mean, everything is wrong. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes. Hey, I think flashes. there's Ron Perlman. Sounds Can't have a follow explosions. game without him. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. Yeah, that's literally just a news anchor. We do, All right. we do, have, we do have coming in. That's, um, you can tell because he doesn't have an American dad style uh, American flag pin. Nuclear detonations in New York which every patriot has to wear. My God. Oh my God. I mean, to be we fair, to nobody's going to miss Pennsylvania. No. Sorry for anyone watch, potentially watching this that lives in Pennsylvania, but I mean, you knew what you were getting into. To be fair, no one would miss Minnesota either. Hell, I wouldn't even miss Minnesota. I love living here. Guy in a hospital bed. Doctor, what state is he in? Missouri? He's in Missouri. Well, that's why you should ask what their what their condition is, not what state they're in. Yeah. We'll never see him again. We need to get in. To who? The world's practically gonna end. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Infant. What's Infant gonna what? To I don't know. I don't want to assume everything this baby's gender. Now keep I don't think the baby cares. His name is Sean. I mean, yes, Step we will obviously platform. let him In choose his, how, what, what he identifies with when he actually has a concept of that, but a less than one year old isn't oh, going to give a is. shit. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. There you go. Oh my god! Oh no, I sneezed. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should go. 
Well, there goes everyone who didn't get... There goes the soldiers who were just outside uh, the gate. Oh, uh, decontamination rooms. We did not go down that fast. You know, I actually pointed this... I know I pointed this out when I did the init an initial run of this game to make sure it actually played on your PC, but all those soldiers must have turned into ghouls of some kind because they are not there when we get back up. We did it. And there's no way they got we away. You're not going to outrun a nuke. So, and a bunch of our neighbors I mentioned to you actually uh, become ghouls, and I think they actually respawn in the areas. So yeah, those soldiers in power armor with miniguns probably became ghouls. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... Oh man, and also Jim Cummings is here too, because you can't have a Bethesda game in general without him. I mean, I'm not mad about that. I like both Ron Perlman and Jim Cummings. Jim Cummings is just in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Male. He was like several of the voices for the Master in the original Fallout game. You'll need your suits before we Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Just this what now? Way. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Hey, follow Doc. Me. I'm just gonna go. Right I don't follow anyone. See? Bernie Blaze blazes his own trail, if you will. Oh, I guess you can call him a trailblazer. This is one of our most a Bernie Blazer. A Bernie <laughs> Trailblazer? <laughs> How long do you think we'll be down here? Follow me, Doctor. I'll show you to where you need to put us. <laughs> Sliding door. Well, luckily for us, it was already pre-slid. Bernie Blaze does not slide doors. Like, are we even going to be able to fit into these scrawny-ass vault suits? What? Just step. I mean, just look at us and look at that guy. Like, there's no way they got our size after the vault rep literally got to our door five minutes before the bombs fell. It's the future. All we know is it could be like. One size fits all. These these aren't the fast Fantastic Four uniforms where they just conform to our bodies and superpowers. And you before we head deeper in the fall. But just we it did fit somehow. Time for a whole new life. Wow, he's gonna regret saying that. Occupant vitals. Normal. Yeah, they don't give you too much time in this opening. In. So, did we just get cryogenically frozen? That's all this vault does. They lied to us. Uh oh. That's why the cryolator is here, which we are getting dog meat and coming back for that pretty early on, obviously. Yeah, but like, what the hell, vault tech? Dude, they lied about everything the vaults do. All the vaults were just, uh, scientific and social experiments. None of them were ever actually meant to provide safety. Oh. There were like a hundred something vaults that, well, people in the city just know about, and they were all just filled with guinea pigs. Here. Open it. Hell, I don't think some even actually protected anyone from the nukes. I like the one with all the clones of that one guy in it. Oh, uh, yeah, the Gary clones. That wasn't actually what that vault was meant to do either. Well, I mean, it was meant to clone people, just not one dude. And they also weren't supposed to be insane. Well, that's what happens when you just clone yourself. Oh. But we'll get to that when we eventually play through Fallout 3. Mysterious figure. Probably should have just given him the baby. Yeah, Kellogg's a douchebag. But we'll find more about that later. Excuse me, did you just call us the fucking backup? You stupid, you stupid mother. I can't wait to get to you so I can burn your face off. Like in Face Off. That's not what happens. <laughs> if anything, I've been more accurately calling it Face Swap. <coughs> yeah, but to swap faces, you need to take them off first. That's where it comes off. I mean, yeah. Bernie Blaze, gasping, coughing. Well, I mean, Bernie Blaze is never short of breath. He's not weak. Residents must vacate immediately. 
as much as I do really enjoy this game, I do kind of wish the opening was a bit longer. Because uh, Fallout 3 didn't uh, didn't just push us into the story Come right, on. right away. There has to be a release! Though that one also got a little... Oh, right. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! Oh, God. Why would vault do this? Yeah, all vault ever did was lie to people. I'll find who did this. And I'll get you. I promise. So I can't take everyone else's wedding rings too? What horse crap? <laughs> heavy heavy breathing. Oh no, he's angry. Let's look around a little bit though. But yeah, this place is just entirely cryo to cryo chambers, basically. Alright. What's happening? You just chilling? Okay, <laughs> look like they're very dead. Do you get it though? Just, just because it's. Yeah, they're frozen. Cindy Coffin. She's gonna need a Cindy Coffin. Mr. Whitefield. Why does she have a full name, but everyone else is as Mr. or Mrs.? I don't know. Life support offline? Uh oh. Oh, yeah, it was a system failure. We kind of just lucked out. Well, us and our wife. But then our wife had to open their mouth, her mouth. You don't can't have Sean. And don't worry, the husband does the same thing. When I did the testing, he 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 doesn't give them the freaking baby either. Oh, tight! A new suit. All oh, right, we don't have the Pip Boy yet, so we can't actually uh, equip or unequip stuff. <coughs> Open up! You know what I don't like about the vault suits? Why would you make an entire bodysuit, uh, an entire like jumpsuit, but not provide matching gloves? Hey, onesies are awesome. Yeah, but matching gloves though. I mean, yeah. Probably give them nice slippers as well. No, they come with boots. Oh. The vault suits have like shoes or whatever attached, but they couldn't. Ah, I see we've been transported to New York City. <laughs> Look at the size of those roaches. Oh no, those are small ones in New York. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I actually really like New York City. I've been there several times and it's... Oh! This isn't a fire weapon, but we've decided because... Giant roaches? What the hell? We didn't actually explain this before, but... Because of how scarce fire-based stuff is in the beginning, we are going to allow ourselves to use some non-fire weapons, and obviously we're going to use melee weapons as well, but when we start getting fire weapons and ammunition for those fire weapons, we're going to, we're going to quickly start phasing out the non-fire-based weapons. Yes. I just wanted to explain that. Cleanliness is godliness. I thought it was next to it. Isn't that the saying? It's next to godliness? Something like that. I don't, I don't know. I guess pre-war America had no room for God. Well, not as much as non-pre-war America. Uh, really dirty sleeping rooms. Yep, we were never meant to use them, and this is also 200 years in the future. Oh, shit, it's been 200 years? Yeah. Because, yeah. Wowzers. We, uh, we were alive at the, before, at the start of the... Uh, bombs dropping in 2077. It's now 2277. All right. Good to know. At least I believe it's. I Codsworth says it was about 200 years. Lock, like some kind of pansy. <laughs> oh God, they're bigger. Wait, we're gonna need food for the road. <laughs> you can actually eat roach meat? I mean, not until we get a pit boy. That sounds gross. Hey, when you're in New York City and you're hungry enough and can't afford a slice of pizza, what else is there but rats and roaches? Well, I don't think roaches even have meat. They're, like, mostly goo. Yeah, that's the meat. I mean, maybe if you cook it, it'll, like, 
firm and toughen up. Oh, cool. Something we can sell. Oh, no. Oh, nice. cool. They're hot keyed right away. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. Overseers. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on demand form. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's right. The Overseer built, made the cryolator. But yeah, all the vaults have uh, le have uh, leaders called overseers. That makes sense. It's obviously not just a. Uh, We're not going to read through all thing. of these, but we are going to like log into them and just have them up on the screen so people can pause and read them. But we'll read a little bit. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. God damn it. He's talking about us. Uh oh. Okay, so maybe they did just go to our house. I don't know. It looked like he went, the uh, rep went to other people's houses. Hiccup in vault -Tex remote override systems. Oh man, is this a how to train your dragon uh, crossover? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Do you get it? I got is, it. Is my joke funny? It was all right. Oh. Uh -oh. Supplies running low. <laughs> all right, that's right. The vaults were only supposed to be closed for about a hundred for a few months, but some were closed. Some opened right away, and others were closed for centuries. I was uh, about to say a few months. Yeah, 180 There's, days. That wouldn't be long enough to keep yourself face safe from a nuclear blast. Dude, again, Voltec didn't care about keeping people safe. They just wanted to run experiments, and then after that, who fu who gives a shit? I mean, that, that's what it sounds. It just kind of left everyone in here to die. But do you know who you don't see in the post-apocalypse? Voltec. You got a point, actually. Like their shit's still lying around, but. Nobody from vault -Tec, I don't think, actually survived. Oh, that's just wild. Just instant freezing controller. I just wanted to close the... Nah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, and it sounds like it was because of the overseer that everyone in here died. Well, all the workers and shit, and that's why everything failed. I mean, that would do it. Hey, think you should have wrote confidential a few more times? <laughs> Funky. I don't know what cardiopulmonary is, but it sounds bad. Actually, wait, no, I think that's a uh, heart function. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just has to do with the, 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 how the heart works. Operations protocol manual. Well, that's probably not necessary. Did we open it? All right, sweet. Hey. Anyway, we'll be back for you, little man. Nice. Coming back later for you. Yeah, we don't need a master lock. Do uh, dog meat or dog is just called in here, except once by Nick Valentine, who calls him dog meat. Uh, we can just have him find a weapon and he'll just grab that little f or out of the case. Who's Nick Valentine? Oh, he is a synth detective that we have to save during the main game. Oh, cool. And synths, if you remember, are robots, basically. They're robots meant to, uh, yeah, act and be human. But you'll, you'll hear plenty of that in the story and side missions and basically everything in this game since they are a massive plot point. <laughs> Mostly because people hate them. Yeah, you always got those people who are very distrusting of robots. That's everybody, though. We want our freedom. No. If anything, Mass Effect has proven why robots don't deserve freedom. Hear that? If there's any robots out there listen, watching this video, we're on to you. Also, we should probably just stick with VI instead of AI. Oh, yeah, we need to. We need. We should play more Mass Effect too. We mentioned in a uh, couple of our other videos that we've been playing through the series, playing yeah. slash reading through the series. Because we, uh, when we go through series, I like to involve the books too. Hey, those books are actually really good. Mm -hmm. If you haven't read it and you're a fan of Mass Effect, the what you doing? The last one we can probably what skip. Here? 
Where is everyone? What happened? The apocalypse happened, jackass. Yeah, but like down here specifically. He's... We just read it. Mutiny. Oh, okay. That was the door we couldn't open. Oh, this is literally the entrance. Got it. That's another thing. This vault is, because this vault isn't actually important to the story, very important hey. to the story, it's small. Well. Uh oh. Approach. Did it just stomp on its head? Yeah, we just stomped on its head. But I have the baton. Why use a baton if you can just use your foot? Why use a baton when I could just use my fists? I mean, that too. Gross. I mean, it's not like there's any meat or human juices on it. It's just bones. He's not going to miss it. <laughs> no, I just mean like anything that would be like actually nasty de as degraded a long fucking time ago. I mean, that is true. Is 38,911 bites good? Oh, hey. No, Avery, not those kind of bites. 38,000. That's like... You said bites? Bites. B-Y-T-E-S. That's like 30 megabytes. That's not a lot at all. Is that how much space this thing has? I don't, I don't know. It just said 38,911 bytes yeah, in that cause, set of stuff. Because a bite is smaller than a kilobyte. If I remember correctly, and you need like a thousand twenty-five of those just to make a Ooh. one kilobyte. There we go. And then you need like a thousand twenty-five kilobytes to make one megabyte. Oh, there we go. There we go. Our shiny new suit. Ooh, that looks nice. Holy fuck, we're rippling. We are shredded. Flexes. Shredder new suit. Oh no. Oh wait, right. I didn't hook up to the. That's what 10 strength, no, 8 strength gets you. Look at those muscles. Oh wait, no, how did they say it in Oblivion all the time? Look at the muscles on you. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> it's like, oh, hello, nameless guard. <laughs> well, have a little, have a little, what's the name? Initiate. Please, stand back. I don't think it's supposed to be all janky and jiggly on that fucking rack moves around, snaps off in the lock. Well, guess we're screwed. That's just Baltic being lazy. Again. Well, fortunately, we have got plenty of ribroach meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it gives you 11 radiation when you eat it. Good God, that's horrible. So we had 11, so that's what? 122 radiation? Why, thank you. Wow, the end of this game is really impressive. This was a fun playthrough. All right, thank you for watching. <laughs> well, come on now. We, we have to actually leave the vault. You know, the entire plot of the game. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> wow, this is a short game. It's the shortest uh, Fallout game I've played. Actually, I think my shortest Fallout playthrough was my playthrough of Fallout 1. I played it for about 30, 40 minutes and then stopped because I hated it. <laughs> I'd be up for trying those two games too, actually. At some point. One and two. We're not actually going to change anything, but... Hey. Do you like our character? Do you want to change... Well, oh wait, no. That doesn't matter. Uh... There's a doctor in Diamond City that can just change our appearance. I think we're looking fine. Freaking ripped. Yeah, like I, I still already told you, I put the mus the muscle all the way up. <laughs> Enjoy your return to the surface. Man, this was a good Enjoy playthrough though. We didn't find out anything. <laughs> all right, time to cut to credits. Uh, hey, it's the bed we slept in for a couple hundred years. That was a nice power nap. Though not like we needed a nap or anything to increase our power. Oh, yeah, I guess it says it right there. Anyway, credits. Obviously, we're just fucking with everyone. Wa anyone watching this. I'm pretty sure most people already know that. I mean, the game's been <laughs> out since 2016. I should hope they do. <sighs> go home. God damn, I wish I could. Well, let's go home. Yeah, but at the same time, ooh. Right away, we will, which is something we will need for. Wait, what? I'm 
sending it back down. Why? I don't want anyone to know that we were ever married. That's why we're also ditching these wedding rings as soon as we find a merchant. Could just be honest with them. Trying to make some money. They don't need to know what we're doing. They don't need to know our life. Our life. I'm sure. Our I'm sorry. Our former understand. life. This is our now life. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunate? We can be the true Cram. hero we were meant to be. Also, yeah. You don't like Cram? I like Cram. Ooh, more uh, 10 millimeter ammo that's going to be worthless. It's going to be good. Good to help. No, it's not. Like the main, this is a this is a pyromaniac run through mostly. The main pistol we're going to be using is the Gainer, which is a 44 Magnum. 10 millimeter rounds aren't going to fit in that. They're literally useless. Fair enough. Which yeah, uh, should we actually run and get the Gainer after we do the first couple missions? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, we should do it in the first video at least. We aren't going to be able to use it right away because. Again, the ammo for that kind of stuff is kind of hard to come by at the beginning of these games, but we can, it's a fire weapon and we can get it, so. Oh man, we found home. That was the other reason I did that initial playthrough of the first part, was partially to make sure the game actually worked on Noel's PC, and partially because I wanted to make sure we could actually get the gainer, the fire revolver, without any trouble. It's kind of worth. As I live and breathe. I mean, you're doing one of those oh, things. It's, it's He's just really been hanging around cool. here for 200 years, waiting for us to get back. What happened? Godsworth. What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I am There's afraid nobody here but you. Things will be so well, his eyes are doing the things that the thing that Avery's Batman. pupils do when he sees Where food. Is your better half, by the by? Uh oh, bam, she's gone. She's in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. You look very yes. different than uh, last time I saw you. Wait, no, I, we looked like this. I'm it's stupid. Been ages since had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps Sherrod. Sherrod. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> I think he just likes the silly Sherrod movement. Again, he's a baby. He doesn't understand practically anything. He's just, oh man, these people taking care of me are doing funny movements. He's been kidnapped. They stole him. Yeah, they stole him. <laughs> They're talking. He's talking about it like it's a like somebody's fucking DVD player or a car radio, not a baby. <laughs> Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> he understands a regular human cycle, right? What? I mean, he seems to think Are we've you? been conscious it's for 200 years, so I'd say no. Oh. Oh. Rotation oh, 210. To the old chronometer. <laughs> so maybe that it's 2087? Uh, I don't know. Late for <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up! I didn't know that. Ro I didn't know that insane robots could be in denial. You okay? Godsworth, you're acting. Oh yeah, the yellow thing is uh, a little bit weird. Special uh, dialogue. What's wrong? I. I. <laughs> Centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. My anaconda died. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me that's the least of your problems. Or maybe it has been his only problem, I don't know. The voice actor did great, but I feel because I feel so bad for this stupid ass robot. Stay with me, Kyle. Focus. 
I hope you all appreciate the fact that when designing or modeling our character, I chose the veiniest, most muscular neck. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this holotape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Cadwell. Yeah, it's a it's a little uh, recordings that you put in the uh, Pip Boy. We didn't have Pip Boys on when we went into the vault, though, so I don't know how she thought we were gonna play it. Well, actually, I guess there are poor, there are separate hollow tape players, and they're just built into the Pip Boys. I was about to say, it assumes right. they're like other devices you could put it mm -hmm. in. So it's basically just these little compu wrist computers have CD players, essentially. Well, tape players. Wowzers! Our house looks like shit oh. now. Do you mean it didn't before? I'm coming, buddy. You're special. Did we even get to see our bedroom before this? I mean, we could have, but... What the fuck was that? God, Codsworth flamethrower. Codsworth's flamethrower. He found bugs. <laughs> oh. Time to break oh, into someone else's house. I sense yeah. picking up movement in another house. Oh, Follow me. fly. Ew. Well, we are definitely stealing things. Ooh, bubble gum. Wait, no, we don't need that. We can find plenty of cigarettes. Ah, <gasps> oh, yo! Oh yeah, and we're actually going to have to lockpick in this game, but... These lockpicks don't suck. These are basically like Skyrim lockpicks. <laughs> yeah. I Ooh, just shotgun really shells. The locking system for uh, Free war money. Oblivion. A pipe pistol. I don't. Medics. Fine. I don't know if we need any blood packs or a silver locket worth a max of ten caps. Holiday mascots in this world are freaking scary. Oh, they're supposed to reflect the way they were in like the sixties and seventies. And this is a world filled with killer robots and giant bugs. And irradiated zombies. Oh, I'm sorry. Ghouls. They don't like when you call them zombies because that's racist. Smooth skin. Yeah, why do they just call us that then? Mr. Blades. Ah! Your family isn't here either. Why would they be at the neighbor's house, you they're psycho? Really gone, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they're gone. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Conker? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh no! Where is he looking? I checked. They... Concord. Yes, the town. It's the town. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was just a graphical glitch. Uh, when I was running to get the the Gainer revolver, you know that town I passed by? Yeah. That's Concord. Oh. Okay. That's the first place we're supposed to go, and where we're gonna help uh, Preston Garvey and his group of really useless uh, survivors. But, before that, I don't think there's anything wrong with scavenging a little more. Nope. I mean, it's not like these people are going to miss any of this stuff. They're dead. Shut up. Take your meat. Taste the red roach meat, not the red roach heat. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Captain Cosmos. Why does, he have a, why does he have a monkey sidekick? This isn't Space Ghost. Space Ghost is the one that had the uh, space monkeys, right? I think. I don't remember him having a monkey. Well, I'm not talking about the freaking Adult Swim show. I'm talking about the original cartoon from, like, the 60s or 70s. Oh, I would have no idea. I'd have to look that up on, like, watch cartoons or some crap. I showed the original Scooby-Doo, but nothing else. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's also, ooh, dog meat. Wild mongrel. That's not dog meat. No, but it was mongrel meat. It's, it's a dog, and it was meat. It's dog meat. <laughs> I was talking about the. Oh. I was talking about what I took from it, not the animal itself. All right. Hmm. Oh, tire iron is better. Ah. Anyway. Ooh, look at that red rocket in the distance. Yeah, that's the red rocket gas station. Hey. Oh, let's get that dog. Okay. Greet the dog. Hey, pupper. 
Hey, best boy, how you doing? Hey, boy. Ah. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you seem like an okay guy. You just get a best friend right away. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Should we go back and get the cryolator now? Did we leave Codsworth just wandering our uh, little town? He said he was going to hold down the fort. Anyway, this is the crafting bench where we can upgrade weapons and crap. All right. Ow. Obviously, since we haven't leveled up, we don't have any perks, so we cannot level and we cannot upgrade anything what was that sound i think it was just the dog making noise as we went into vats uh -oh. oh yeah that slows down time so it slows down the movement and the sounds of things happening it gets kind of annoying but i thought uh, it was like a bear or something a yaogwai yaogwai that's what they're called oh rat bear yeah, it's Yagwai yeah, sounds cooler than Rad Bear. Rad Bear sounds like a '90s uh, mascot with a frick with a pair of sunglasses and a snapback. <laughs> hey guys, didn't you know drugs are bad for you? Drugs are rad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Let's go back and get the cryo later, quick. Eat pizza and go to bed early. That's radical. Eat shit and go to hell. What? <laughs> I know. Uh. We're just fast traveling there. Screw it. But it's just right up that hill. Yeah, I don't want to climb up the hill. Okay. I mean, do you want to just go grab the cryo later now? Yeah. We might as well. Yeah, we can grab that. That's as the, well as it's the it's the only thing down there that's left. That's any you that's gonna that would be. Is it just gonna wait for us to actually go on to it? Nope. Get over here, you little idiot. Okay. See you later. No, he's the one who has to get the cryo later. It's out. It's behind a master lock. Oh, like I said, there's a. At least I think it'll still work. I hope it wasn't like patched out of the game for some reason. But yeah, yeah, you can have dog meat go find stuff. If you tell him to find a weapon near it, he'll just grab it and give it to you. I don't think that's a glitch, though. I'm pretty sure they had the. Dog I didn't say it was purpose. a glitch. Uh, doubt they patch it out then. I don't think it ever was, to be honest, but I don't know. Like, people tend to care more about the PC versions of games than console versions. So, I mean, it worked on the console, but... Speaking of which, I like how uh, well this is actually running on my computer. Yeah, well, your computer is actually pretty good. Yep. Anyway, come here, boy. No, over <laughs> here. <laughs> over I... here, tilt's head. I want to do it at least somewhat close to it so he goes over there and not and doesn't go like get a wrench from that box or something. Wait, actually, you wouldn't do that when. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Fetch. Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? Oh, never mind. It's not weapon. It's good stuff items, nearby, but... boy. <laughs> Come on, boy. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Done. And he put it in his inventory. Wait, what? Okay, right, if you don't grab it, he just has it in his inventory. All right, now we literally never have to come back here again. Is nothing else of any importance in this place? No, we went to every room and picked up all the good shit. All right. In that case, let's get the higgity heck out of here. This isn't like Fallout 3 where you can go back and be a nuisance to the survivors. <laughs> You know, after you're already a nuisance by just existing. Oh no! See ya! <laughs> I mean, we used him for what we needed him for. Now he's disposable. Ah. Just like those tissues that are balled up in your pocket. I don't have any tissues in my pocket. <laughs> you usually do, but, and that's the joke. I didn't say your pants pocket either. It was. You do it in your. You do that for your coat pocket. Aww. Avery, are you getting head scratches? Yes. Oh my gosh, she's so happy. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, God damn it. Magic. Fine. I guess it'll be a fire and dog playthrough. I don't mind a little bit of dog hanging out. 
you know. Ha. Mambo number dog. Anyway, here. Ooh, my see turn. That, see that little door thing right there? That's where we're supposed to go. <clears throat> so and just run just... in that direction. All right. After I get around this um, little rock formation here. The Y button jumps. That was why. Why? Eh. Well, at least my toe is feeling better. Okay, so I press that button and I run. Good to know. I'm guessing the lakes are radiated. Yeah, all the water is irradiated, except cool. for purified water. That's not irradiated, but you can you only find that in bottles. Fair there's enough. no there is no unirradiated streams in the in the nuclear apocalypse. Don't worry, toilets exist. No, that's irradiated too. Oh, it is. The, was it sealed? I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was in pipes. And not all water is is purified either. It's only purified bottled water. There's also dirty water. They just have dirty water in bottles. You think uh, wa bottles, of old plastic water bottles, is going to stop nuclear radiation? Yes. No, it's not. That's not how science works. No, that's not concrete either. My dude, that little door symbol on our map, on our I know. compass. Oh, okay. Anyway, well, there it is. I mean, so. we are in Concord. That's the water tower for it, though. No, Concord is right over there. We were in Sanctuary Hills before. I, I know, but it's literally the Concord Water Tower. It says it right there. You have no proof that that's where, what it's for. That I can read the words on it. You can read? Yeah, it surprises me too sometimes. Oof. Big shots fired. <laughs> I think we can go into some of these things, but we should help, the, we should help those idiots at the place you first. I had a physical copy of that poster. Oh, that one. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's just uh, packed well, away with all my other posters. Yeah, so it's probably in horrible shape, which... It just needs to be framed. I mean, it's Why would we frame it? It was like a $5 poster. Because then it'll last forever. We are not framing a $5 poster. The frame would cost more than the poster. You can't frame for like 5 or 10 bucks. It's plastic ones. Um, You're close, but the action's actually happening over here. Oh yeah, we get fire. we have to fight raiders. We have to fight all these weird half naked men shooting uh shooting uh two by four weapons at this. Yeah. Hurt these guys. They're hurting the doggo. Don't you die on me! He's already dead, buddy. Oh crap! Gas mask with uh, oh my god a gas mask with goggle with goggles and to and cover our pretty face. So why were they shooting up what I'm guessing is the town hall? Oh, the Minutemen are in here. Well, some of them. The laser the Minutemen laser rifle sucks. Oh my god, we just exploded that dude's head. Oh, trust me, when we get the bloody mess park, we'll be exploding entire bodies. Actually, wait, have we leveled up yet? That's oh, shit, we have. Let's start with this, since uh, we're going to be doing a decent amount of melee stuff as well. See, one of the new to the dog, is that like using the dog perk or something? Attack dog, but we need four charisma. Oh. Which, we're not doing a charisma playthrough. Nah. If they're outlined like this, then we don't have enough, uh, stuff. We don't have the right, uh, perk point, perk thing, special things to do it. Fair enough. We are going to need that eventually, though. Oh, yeah. Basha. Oh. Ah! Rooted. You're part tree. Pain train. Choo-choo all aboard. <laughs> oh, wait, that's for power armor. Not gonna lie, I like how power armor kind of looks in this and how it overall functions, but the fact that it needs uh, fusion cores and it degrades really quickly kind of sucks. Is that like a detective perk or something? Oh, no, that's the mysterious stranger. Oh, man. Ow! Hey. Who is he? What does he want? 
think there's somebody else in it around here. No, like I said, we just help the people in the building. There's Preston. Oh. Hi. Talking at us. Anyway, here we go. The Museum of Freedom. Oh yeah, this is a museum. Ow. It's not Town Hall. Don't bite my head, bro. Just give it to me then. Come here, bird. Come here, boy. They're in here too. Oh wait, hold up. Actually, one. Uh, oh crap, we leveled up again. I just wanted to. For some outfits, we can actually wear pieces of armor over them. <clears throat> oh, Drifter outfit isn't one of them. But the vault is, the outfit is. See, now we got some armor on our left leg. All right. Also, we leveled up again. Uh, we'll deal with that later. I guess these things still work after 200 years. You know, those things yelling and also the raiders making noise and shooting guns is kind of distracting. Man, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's the box office. It's an office at the box. There we go. Whoa, I almost fell in that hole over there. Someone didn't have the Thatcher perk activated. I guess we can use regular guns too for a bit if things get too hairy, but. I more to worry about than that, my friend. Where are they? <clears throat> oh, they're on the next level. Oh, alright. Uh, should we search the raiders' corpses first? Yeah, we probably should. Well, go back and uh, got and search the guy that you just took the arm off of. Bottle caps. Take the bullets too. Even if we don't use them, we can. Oh, and the leather left arm, because that's more. Uh... And the pipe pistol. Stuff we don't use, we can just sell. You know what? Fuck it. We we don't need the pipe pistol. Oh my god. Got it. Uh, open the inventory though with B probably stop running too. Yeah, Click on good. leather left arm. Because yeah, like I mentioned, for some things, uh, you can add bits of armor to the outfit. Alright. See? We got a little short. We got a leather pole for you. Nice. I mean, not really, but... Ooh, yes. That's a raider one. I think those ones are, like, made of metal. Uh, use a couple. Yeah. Ooh, we should take that shotgun, though. What the hell? Oh, the dog. Thanks, dog. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this isn't uh, time splitters. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Should we take the road leathers as well? Yeah, Just take well, everything. Not. Because the road leathers, I know you can, uh... Yeah, there we go. Stylish. Ooh, a raider left arm. There's a lot going on. Got it, wise. One, three... Oh, it's actually not as good. I'm still doing it though, mostly the enhanced thing is energy defense and <laughs> that works. Oh, there's the stairs. Speaking of. Oh, oh yeah, uh, raiders often have uh, molotovs that we can scavenge too. Yeah, 
Yeah, imagine that, but their entire body. That's what the bloody mess part does. Nice. Wait, was it the left leg we had for Raider Armor? Oh, we have a right leg. Whoops. There. Now, other than the head piece, <sighs> well, we have a full thing. That? I mean, why would you cover this face up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just meant that you, like, literally exploded his head, so I guarantee there's nothing left of what he was wearing. Whoa, was that like a golden gun? What? Uh, look to the left there. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's That's a pipe gun. gun. Never mind. That's, I thought it was made of gold. <clears throat> it was not. Ooh, left leather arm. I think we got the right one. Yeah, but we also have raider stuff. And that looks... Wait, actually, do we have any? We don't actually have anything on our right arm. I'm sorry. So we do not have a full set yet. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garth. I read that as gravy. <laughs> Turn to move down slightly. All right. I'd keep the footsteps up, to be honest. You want, you don't want anyone like sneaking up on us. Oh, believe me, we're far Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe. Minutemen? Nope. So now I'm traveling backward in time. Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference, and I did. But uh, things fell apart. Ah, that. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Got my own problems. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. You all right? Listen, we need your help. And then maybe we can help you, huh? I mean, what the laser muskets look cool, but they're really shitty because you actually have to, like, charge them with a crank before uh, every time before you fire them. My son. He's, he's wondering my why son we're here. Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Ooh, that's Mama Murphy. She'll sh tell us the future if we First bring her drugs. In Lexington and now is that our mess. dog or does she have her own dog? That's our dog. Holy crap, he's huge. It's a German Shepherd, dude. Those are big dogs. I mean, they ain't no ghouls? great Danes, What are but ghouls? Yeah. God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. Nah, they look that. pretty messed up. Actually, I think most are fair. Time, but they're still just. I think people. those are more common. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, Maybe. made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon nope. as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. So you thought it would easily be conquered. Tell me. Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. Oh, yes. Here's a crash. He also had, up on he's the also a uh, Pompadour enjoyer. Pre -war. You might have seen You it. don't see too many of them in this well, game, but when you do... Like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military oh. issue. Is that just like a, a pink armor suit no he means like it's in good condition and i actually had a thought about that uh when i ha when i got the gainer uh i mentioned we couldn't get a flamer from any of the forge because they're too high level if we keep the power armor and the minigun from on top of the roof though we might be able to take at least one or two out and grab a flamer and some molotovs Hello. i like it <laughs> yeah i didn't I realize that they'd start talking if we don't answer right away i forgot bolts. about that our wife did it too. Get the well, suit. Do you want to go to the, the minigun right Oops. off the vertebrate? Do that. I guess we no didn't go to the park with her. Express Oops. ticket to hell. You did. There is no park anymore. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Jesus. <laughs> minigun. Uh, now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. A hundred. It can be powered up again. But we're All right, a there's a fusion, cell, uh, fusion core in the 
uh, basement. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. We know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind oh, a security. Sometimes gate. the look captions I out. fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor, then grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Can I have your hat? Good luck. Fun fact I learned uh, on one of my last playthroughs like years ago yeah if you actually pickpocket his hat and outfit he'll, he'll just spawn a new one like the next day so theoretically you could have infinite preston outfits nice <clears throat> anyway it's right in here wait for real yep they they can't hack a novice thing i like to tinkle oh yeah crap I do hate these, though. Wait, what the fuck are we supposed to do with this? You're supposed to press a thing, and it has to, and thinking it might be. Ugh. You're supposed to press one of these uh, letters, numbers, characters, words, uh, just to and try and guess the password. Oh, okay. I don't think there is an actual way to. If you fail too many times, it locks you out. I don't know if there's an ever if I've never learned if there was an actual way to to uh, properly guess it, but oh, so we're just finding words. Ethan, we'll just you know we'll just cut this part out of the video. This might take a bit. Sweet. All right, well, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. We should really look into like. If there are better methods of doing that. Anyway, that's fusion core. Oh, Probably guess not. I didn't need to jump down the hole. Yeah, it was a hole I almost fell into. Yeah, it would have been fine. We were supposed to go there. Anyway. What are you looking for? I wanted to find the bloody mess perk to just because uh, just to see how much of something we're gonna need for that. There's a picture of death over there. Maybe it's that one. No, that's death. What about or that? That's the Grim Reaper. Squid guy. With It'll the be axe. some. The picture is usually a, a vault boy shooting someone and them exploding. Oh. Uh, right there. That's Never a warehouse. Mind. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe it's that one? Just give oh. him his thumbs up and his blood everywhere. Yay, oh, look at that. Oh, we're gonna need three luck, huh? Ah, damn it. I can upper luck. You feeling lucky? No, you have to use one of your perk uses to up these. Oh. You know, we might as well invest in it now because it's... It increases the effectiveness of all weapons as well, so everything we use will benefit from it. And if we only need to up put two points into luck, because we need three and we had one, I mean, yeah, we might as well just do it early. Great. I don't see why not. I'll give you a reason why not. The red coats are coming. No. Uh, ooh, no, cap stash. <laughs> no, they're not. Good God. A. <laughs> Who are you? The shotgun wanderer. The lone wanderer? No. What did I just say? I just wasted like three shotgun shells. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now we only have 11 left. Good job. Oh my god. You can do math. Doesn't matter if we've got a uh, security baton. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. What am I doing? No. God damn it. Huh? This is stupid. Tire iron is a much better weapon. Is it though? Fuck. I mean, I was asking. I really don't know. Yes, it is. Okay. Remember, we already established. Oh, I quick saved. Hey. 
Let's actually actual save quick, though, too. Oh, yeah, and this actually keeps... Well, they all keep track of how long we play, but... Excuse me. Like it or not, we're all counting on you. Careful, kid. Anyway, yeah, this is the this is the old lady who will t tell you the future if you give her drugs. And we're 100% sure that's true. She specifically wants jet, so if she's just huffing cow manure out of an inhaler, no, I'm not 100% true. I'm not even 50% sure if that's true. Because she's huffing cow shit out of an inhaler. Oh man, the Commonwealth. Yeah, the Commonwealth. Because uh, in Fallout 3, you're in the Capital Wasteland. In Fallout New Vegas, you're in the Mojave. Here, you're in the Commonwealth. It's just the general, the name of the general area of the game. Fair enough. So basically, it just means outside. These loading screens take a little bit. I mean, if you want to complain about it, maybe I should just go. No, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it will load. And it has. Oh, hello. This doesn't look in all that good of condition, to be honest. Aw, oh, shit! Oh, man. More caps. Oh, man. Pre-war money. Useless, useless pre-war money. A sign favorite. Diamond City Radio. Oh. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, it's on route, a actually. A crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the Is intel that, I've gathered, this happen? was a global yeah. event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. Oh god, he's not still in there, is he? On foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. He's probably not alive oh, anymore. If this. this was 200 years ago, of course he isn't. Yeah. Though we can go check out that apartment if it actually exists. Dude. Uh, Boylston Street doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, I was about to say, it's weirdly specific. Maybe there'd be something cool hidden there. Or maybe there is. I, or maybe it does. I actually don't know. Also, did we listen to that tape our wife gave us? Nah. It's just sentimental garbage. I Bernie like Blaze. Sentimental garbage. No, Bernie Blaze does not need that in his life. He has dog. Yeah, oh, this good. isn't... There's something wrong with it this, already. Yeah, I was gonna say, this isn't in perfect condition. Two of the pieces are basically almost fucked. Sturgis is a moron. But... We got but yeah, if we kill uh, the raiders and the Deathclaw, because we get attacked by Deathclaw, like, carefully and actually save some of the minigun ammo, maybe we could fast travel back to the that area and kill one or two of the forged and get an early flamer. Somebody right. up here! Because we, we only have, like, 1,300 bullets. I mean, if we've got the short laser musket. I actually don't remember how to charge this fucking thing. Come oh. on, I've got places to be. But yeah, that's what you have to do to fire this stupid piece of shit. Man, crank powered. I had a flashlight that did that. It was crap. This flashlight? And yeah, it also doesn't do much damage. <clears throat> yep, screw it. Howdy. Don't do that! <laughs> Shot his head off. 
Shot his goddamn head off. Already making a bloody mess. Ah, uh, you said the thing. <laughs> or who knows? Maybe we could kill the death claw with a pit with this pistol. Quit running, Crystal. You don't deserve that. Chris name. Gristle. Chris Gristle. <laughs> yes. Thing that lights the kid on fire. An old Family Guy was a fucking weird show. Oh, is that from Family Guy? Yeah, it's uh, an older episode where they get pe uh, superpowers. Chris like goes to one of his classmates. Hey, you remember that time you called me Chris Gristle? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's funny. Well, burn for it. And then he lights him on fire with his powers. He says, <laughs> "I can make fire." Yeah, that was the episode. So you remember that part of the episode, but not that other part? I guess I don't. Because, yeah, that was the exact same episode. Yeah, didn't Peter get, like, nuclear... Oh, shit. No, like he got... He could shapeshift. Oh, he shapeshift. No, that's how they all got powers. They got... Oh, crap! Do you guys in the truck... Hey, you want to see if I can do a wheelie in this thing? Well, that doesn't... Or do you dare me to do a wheelie in this thing? Well, that doesn't sound safe at all, but okay, I dare you. <laughs> He might need to use a little bit of that big gun. A lot of these idiots are taken care of. Hi. Your dog is in trouble. And my dog. Whatever, we got 1300. That should. We kill this thing, that should be. The rest should be more than enough to hopefully kill one or. I don't know if we can save any, goddammit. Brad's dead. Wait, the meter that. for. Yeah, get the fuck off me, dude! Why doesn't it just finish the job? I don't know, this was a wild way to open this game, though, when I uh, first saw it. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, and you see on the side how. You see, on the side. Uh, yeah. You see how those things are blacked out? That means three of the parts are broken completely. Okay, this seems kind of crap. Maybe we'll just take the minigun then. Good god, we might have to. There's not gonna be a goddamn suit left. And I'm not spent. we're not spending a bunch of our resources just to fix this piece of shit. God damn it! Okay, this is annoying though. Why is this death class such a jerk? I don't know. Mm. So angry. You would be too if you were this freaking ugly. And then they just go right back to attacking us. They never stopped attacking us. Wait, for real? I don't think so. But cool, we still got like. 943 bullets, so that should be enough to kill a couple of those idiots, so we'll just, uh, fast travel and try to take a couple out with the minigun so we can get a flamer and some flamethrower ammo and right. some molotovs. Yes. We unfortunately will not be able to manage getting the shish kebab and doing that quest. I mean, we will eventually. Just I know, just not right now. Yeah. But That's fine. How do I get out of this? Let's walk inside the building first. There we go, hold A. So yeah, the chest piece of this is the only thing that's actually not broken. It doesn't even have a helmet no more. Yeah, it was the only thing that wasn't broken. It All the stuff unequips when it breaks. Oh. Shit. That's why that doesn't have armor on the arms and legs anymore. It's wow. just the frame. Aw oh, man, you know what this could use? An Adam Katz paint job. Oh yeah, there are a bunch of like greaser wannabes that just p paint their power armor black and just slap flames on them. Tunnel snakes rule. Yeah, they're basically just the power armor tunnel snakes. <laughs> Alright, thank god it doesn't weigh anything when it's broken, but it's... Yup, yeah, fuck it, we'll just sell the broken pieces. I was just stuck on that dude's corpse. That's odd. The Minutemen of Freedom. Yeah, let's get these idiots squared away in uh, Sanctuary, then let's 
Want to go get the gainer after that? Yeah. Sweet. And possibly kill off someone to get a flamethrower, flamer. I'm fine. I just need my drugs. That was a pretty amazing display. I, we're not friends. <laughs> you can never have too many friends. We're not, not friends. Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. 100 ball caps and 50 fusion cells. Which are different than fusion cores. The fusion cells are the ammunition for laser weapons. Why does everyone so, keep giving me bottle caps? So, basically... Uh, You're welcome. Anytime. Please. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. Oh, that's wonderful. <clears throat> but there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've it. I wonder how often her and teeth just I fall know out. Your pain. That woman is just so far gone. Destiny? Go okay. On. I'm listening. <laughs> the Destiny heroes. Out of hope. All's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. Oh, yeah, she knows our kid is missing, alive. so maybe she can? I mean, uh, a boss in the DLC is a ghoul. A fi uh, ghoul? But he literally can teleport and throw fireballs. Okay, that is pretty so, badass. There, and uh, in the original games, there were people that c had psychic abilities. So maybe she can? I knew it. See the future? Please tell me where he is. I so need maybe to she find does have, son. like, drug-fueled yes, psychic see, abilities? I, it's never clearly, actually... But I feel I his know. life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where even you Even I don't need the looking. shine. The shining Green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. It's called that because it's set in a baseball field. You know, because like a baseball diamond. No, I, and that's why the one dude sells baseball bats and uh, armor made from uh, baseball pads. Oh boy. I mean, that makes sense, I suppose. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. Chems is what is the so term that people in the picture. series use for drugs. Oh, for Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill her if she doesn't tell us more. Wait. We're gonna need the sight. We're all gonna die eventually. That's like the worst excuse to do drugs. Let's get going. Thank you. Or the most valid. I don't know. No, it's the worst. Well, drugs in general are stupid and doing drugs is incredibly stupid but yes. I've heard of better reasons than we're all gonna die eventually it's like but that's that could just be a, va a that reason is just vague and dumb enough to be used for anything which people do use for anything yeah remember when the whole YOLO craze started happening people died while doing stupid shit I mean we don't know if there <laughs> I mean we don't know if there's an afterlife you, for all we know you do only live once but that's not a reason to go like blow up cats and burn and like hit people with baseball bats in the street. I just I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Not the ideas, but nah. oh, yeah, there are there are other places in Concord we can go inside Speak of. Easy. Yeah, you know the place where they could where the in the Prohibition era they sold alcohol illegally. Oh. Do you not know anything about the history of the country you live in? Not enough. Or any. I haven't been to school since 2008. What are you expecting from me? Yeah, I haven't been to... 2008? I thought you graduated in 2009. I did. Okay, I haven't been to school since 2009. My bad. <laughs> well, at least not math class. Hey, day tripper. That's another drug. I passed my last math class with a D. <laughs> I really want to know what was going on here when this person died. That, that's literally how I'm going to go out. This is how you live now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a broken lamp. <coughs> Take it. A desk fan. Who carries ah. around a desk fan? Man, I, I hope we run fan. into... I want to run into the two like, sets of people that actually talk about the guy, about that guy. This is random dude in the, in the Commonwealth that rides around pretending to ride a motorcycle. 
Oh, oh, I've heard about him. I showed you a video about I can't him. Remember. Can you actually find the dude? No, he does not the exist in the game. It's just oh. two diff sets of people that talk about him in two specific places. Those are the only. That's amazing. Just run around, but there's no motorcycle. Lock tight. What do you mean there's no motorcycle? Lock's really He's strong. Making motorcycle sounds. Oh, yeah, and he also made gun sounds and pretended to throw grenades. And made explosion sounds. Everyone was terrified, but it was just all him. I hope when he made expl makes explosion sounds, people just like throw themselves back, pretending to be blown up, like. Ah! Or these are raiders, <laughs> so honestly, they'd probably just kill him if he was close enough. But everyone is just too like dumbfounded and amazed that the fact that this guy is completely fucking insane and somehow still alive. No, that's why he's still alive. People are just so shocked that they don't think to do anything. You know, if I tried to pick him up like that, he would have bit the crap out of me. He did bite me. Oh. For anyone who's wanting to know, I picked up Avery. I held my son soft like a hot dog. <laughs> oh, cool. They left already. <laughs> Whom? They're going to Sanctuary. And it's Hoomst. Oh. Oh. They're only at the... Should we go find them? They're going to be in Sanctuary anyway. We're just fast traveling there. Okay. I just was confused at why it was ha they were set in two different places. I guess someone was lagging. Were, were some was some was lagging behind. God damn it, I can't freaking speak. <clears throat> I mean, I am pretty useless. Oh, hey, check no. out. A place where we can put power armor. Frick. You should have carried the suit over here. We are not. We already have are carrying most of it. It's broken. Hi, guy. Hey. Hey. Good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I said I would five minutes ago. Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down. I live yeah. here. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Yeah, the kid I just told you about, dumbass. My son. My son! My son! Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Speaking anyway, of help, there's a there's a here. there's a settlement that needs your help. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word Five. from a settlement asking for help. See? They're still hoping there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. When freedom calls. Way. Okay, anyway. Oh wait, yeah, we're actually going to need uh, one more level because putting a level into luck will raise our luck to the right amount, but we won't be able to grab the bloody mess perk until we have another perk point. Oh. But, hey, that's not what it does, of course. It's actually much worse than that. <laughs> there aren't, there aren't, vi there aren't like visible pieces usually. Dude, get him out of your sleeve. Why are you putting Avery in your sleeve? Why are you putting our son in your sleeve? He liked it. No, he doesn't! He's all in soft and warm. Oh my god, his eyes were closed like he was struggling to get out from under your hand. Like, <laughs> get me out of here! Yeah, he squeezed his way out. Yeah, that means he didn't like it. Anyway, before we help him, let's go get that freaking revolver. Alright. It is... Did, oh, did shit. A map? Um... Uh... Um... I mean, there's Diamond City. I mean, don't you have the map on your phone? Yeah, I was hoping I'd remember. There's a lot of nothing showing right now. They yeah, because we haven't been much. anywhere. I, mean, I know. I know that. It's just... There's a lot of nobody sitting next to me with a bird on his shoulder. You hear that, Avery? I'm the nobody. <laughs> Avery, are you going to let him talk about you like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it uh... looks like it's right over here. And fortunately, the place with the forgers, the iron area, is right over here, like somewhere, just just across the yeah, it's just across the lake, river. Sounds good to me. 
Let's. Should I just run us there quick, or? Yeah, let's let's go. Actually, here you go. See that little? See that box? With, uh, the yes. clear box? That's the. That's that. The filled-in box is our quest marker, but the the not. What the fuck? He was going super fast speeds uh, for a second there. Doggo did a zoom. What? No, don't Why go through the house. This place lit up. Because there's shit on fire. They lit places up. Would you want to move into some destroyed place that also had no light? Avery, come here, you little man. Come here, you sticky little freak. <laughs> Just gives me a look like, excuse? Okay, yeah, they were, everyone else was lagging behind, so literally Preston just left everyone behind, and they just hung out at the gas station for a bit. We're gonna scavenge for just a little while. Good luck, we already grabbed every... No, no, it's that one. The, the light or the dark one? The dark one. Oh, Remember, okay. Remember, the light one, the ones that are filled in, the light ones are the quest marker. The dark ones, the ones that aren't filled in, are your map marker. Okay, my bad. I mean, it's, it's not that much of an adjustment, but I'll still get there. Yeah, I know. It is your bad, Noel. We're doing good. Angry Bark. Run. Run! Run? Oh man, look at that car, Axel. I took the control of him again. He wasn't running. I mean, I literally just saw the blood bugs are giant strong. mosquitoes. They're basically big mosquitoes. Actually, I don't know if those ones are strong or not. Well, the dog's dead. What? I mean... Would that be okay? That'd be sad. I mean, yeah, I guess, but more dog meat. <laughs> We're a hungry boy. We're a hungry, still somehow growing boy. <laughs> Dude, we're like two hundred something. Yeah, that's what that's what radiation does to you. That Wait, looks like a bear. Wait, was it a bear? I'm pretty sure it was a bear. Or was it a mole rat? That's a bear. Oh, and that's a stunt. That's a small one, and it's still... The, you see that skull? Yeah. That means it's way high level. That's why I couldn't beat the forged. Because, because oh god, it saw me. Yeah, that's why I was going around things. I wanted to make sure. If it was a mole rat, I was just going to go over there and beat it to death with the butt of the gun. <laughs> because those things are weak as shit. <sighs> anyway, that's a Yaogwai. Cool, let me keep going. It's actually not very cool. Just like how you keep getting us into trouble. I'm not getting us into trouble. We didn't I'm run existing. into any enemies when I was playing. Lies. You grabbed the controller, we ran into blood bugs and a bear. Speaking of which. And whatever the fuck this thing is. Blood oh, fly. it's a blood fly. Please don't waste three bullets on a bug. Just hit it. Never mind. There's a rad roach over here too? Ah, how do you switch weapons? Frick. Oh. Well, you could do that, or if you want to do, like... Okay, cool. Where? Think Bad dog! <laughs> Dude! I think I hit him. I'm sorry, pupper. Be nice to the doggo. He was starlight driving. Oh, yeah. This is a place we can make into, uh... Oh! There's mole rats. Ooh, let me beat it to death. Hi. Grab their meat. Wow, they die really easily. Yeah, that's why I said I would just beat it with the butt of the gun. What the? Oh. Ooh, a very fast one. A rapid mole rat. I know it says rapid. I'm not that stupid. What in the hell is going on? And as you can see, they don't really do any damage to you either. They're kind of like the bloat flies and the rad roaches, where they're always just useless and they're more of a nuisance than actual enemies. Didn't expect so many of them. Oh yeah, they burrow underground. You could say they came from underground. Anyways, what were you gonna say we can turn this place into? Oh, uh, a settlement. Nice. Cause yeah, there's a. Uh, as soon and in a lot of places there is just uh, those uh red uh workbenches. When you activate those, then you can just start cu uh, using those and customizing the area and building stuff. Nice. Hey. Don't bite, little man. Oh, man. It's a bathtub area. Oh, uh, yes. The bathtub graveyard. Ooh. There's literally a skeleton in there. Why would I... Sometimes you're thirsty. 
Really tasty. This is probably 90% piss. Stone soup. Bone soup. <laughs> Stirs with bone. <laughs> you know what I start to soup the with? skeleton a special. Femur. That's pretty humorous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a lot better than mine. Uh, okay. A oh, little over to the side. That's not it. No, I know. I'm just not walking through the water. We No, we're going to swim through the water. Still, though. I will go around. Fine. I just don't want to... don't think we should cut through too many places. <clears throat> so I do you want to just cut the... Do you want to cut the first video after we get this and such? Yeah, we can, we can do that. Okay. And we need to work on our guy's cardio. Like, how's he run for, like, two feet and be tired again? I don't know. Our endurance is eight. Like, seriously, I can run for, like, good two or three miles before I get tired. Not, like, a full-on sprint, but, yeah, like, a pretty good no, pace. I can't. But like, I have asthma, so maybe our guy has asthma? Just put the weapon away, too. And How do you if do there's. That? Hold X. Oh. Just, just walk normally, dude. Because the more you run and, st and start stopping, it makes more sense if we just go at a steady, even pace. All right. We'll get there eventually. And hey, I've uh, I have a really bad habit of picking up everything in existence in Skyrim. So I've spent numerous hours just walking slow as balls to places so I can sell shit. Yeah, but at the same time, we're also not uploading that to YouTube. I guess we could just cut the travel out if it gets too long. Man, Ooh, tires. tires. Robert. Oh. What was that? Blood bugs. Ah. <laughs> Oh, these are hatchlings. Okay, so these ones are the small. Oh, they're biting our sun. Like our digital sun. Oh, wait, these guys have money? Do they? Yeah, bottle caps. Well, some of them. Is it picking up automatically? No, it doesn't pick up anything automatically. Oh, oh. you're, uh, we're dying. Ah! Avery? <laughs> we're being attacked on the game. We don't need to be attacked by you, too. I think he's getting bored. <laughs> cool. It's not really my problem. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. Super mutants. Let's not bother them for now. How about we don't and say that we did? Because then people will think we're brave and tough. Actually, how far is... Oh, sweet. We're actually almost there. Oh, good. Uh, let me just run us the rest of the way. Yeah. Oh, actually. Hold up. And yes, we're still doing two saves. If you could build, that would be wonderful. Noel will be thankful for us having two saves when uh, one of them gets corrupted. I don't think we've had that happen yet. No, but if it ever did, wouldn't you be happy that we had multiple saves? I mean, yeah, that's why we did the same thing with Oblivion. And... That's why we do the same thing with Mass Effect and with every game we play. Well, I do it. You don't really actually seem to care. I don't worry about that kind of stuff. I worry about everything. Maybe that's why you have so many... Pro Maybe that's why you get into so many issues with things, is you don't worry enough. See, like, you don't... Aw. Well, you don't worry about our sun biting you sometimes. Well, yeah, I'm not usually worried about that. I'll see more from the top. He just sneaks attacks me. Oh, yeah. He likes to sneak attack. Avery's very small, so he doesn't like direct fighting. <laughs> He's, He's a lot like me in a for way. such a tiny little guy. He's a lot like you in that way. Like, you're literally the smallest person I've met. You're like three feet. Gee, how big are you? Stay still for a second. Please don't get that yardstick close to my bird. No, you don't. You don't measure him from tip to tip, Noel. That do well for fan or what? <laughs> Chews on it. Well, I mean, yeah, does he yeah, stand I'm... on his tail? I guess he doesn't. Then why would you have? Why would you include that in his height? Oh God! Oh, it's a stingwing. I'd say he's about five inches tall, not counting his tail. All right, he's a foot tall. Gotcha. He's terrified, dude. I mean, it is a very tall stick. 
I bet if I had a regular ruler, he'd be probably biting my hand instead. This was a mistake! <laughs> ah! Maybe we should pull the gun out. Maybe you should shut up! <laughs> wow, no wonder these things are so dangerous. They also irradiate you. No, that was the meat that was the meat I was just eating. Oh, oh wait. Oh Aren't you glad I saved? <laughs> there he goes. Re reloading the dog is still dead is still just gone you know like one of those uh spooky spaghettis or whatever they call them creepy pasta yes spooky spaghetti. <laughs> we should do a card video as well he especially loves this oh yeah when you just rub on his nose or his beak like right his, beak is, his beak is his beak is very feathers. sensitive I think parrots have more nerves in their beak than basically anywhere else in their bodies, so when you rub his beak very softly, he enjoys that butt a lot. What a good boy. Then why did you stop petting him? He looks like he's wondering the same thing. Yeah, he could get affection and love for all uh, forever. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I like when you just like rub his beak gently between your fingers because he always like gets uh, closes his eyes and just enjoys it. Yeah, <laughs> he's a good bird. Sorry, we're just talking a lot about the about how cute Avery is on our video. <laughs> really, he should be in more videos because I'm sure other people like to see and hear from him more too. Well, considering we've actually uh, you know, figured out a good way to show off our cards, you get to see him a lot. <laughs> Which yeah, I actually. No, yeah, I just said we should make it a card video, another card video. We should probably do that today and just upload that before we upload this one, since this one's probably going to take a little bit. This will probably honestly be uploaded tomorrow on Wednesday. Maybe. Because I wanted to make a thumb, I wanted us to make the thumbnail for these videos too. Oh yeah. Oh man, this dress signal. So yeah, we'll probably just like edit this and to just have it ready and uh, make a a nice thumbnail for it and just it'll probably be uploaded either late tonight or early tomorrow now here i was telling you you should put the weapon away when you're not fighting and i was doing the same thing but i had a cool shotgun <clears throat> i mean shotguns are pretty cool oh bus no, I mean over there. Oh. The glowing area. That's the Saugus or whatever ironworks. That's where the forged are. Oh. So where we might be able to snag a flamer. Oh, Mr. Gutsy. The military version of the Codsworth robot, the Mr. Handys. <coughs> and it crippled my arm, our arm right away. Yeah, like immediately. We should probably just run. Shit, you're right. I mean, to be fair, we're not supposed to even really be in this area yet we'll get there eventually though i mean we're here now i mean like when we're actually supposed to be here yeah we'll just hang out here but yeah ever since you showed me that video of uh that that uh hermit crab coming out of that bus i've been worried about like every large vehicle you oh don't worry now. those are only in far harbor uh oh which is one of the dlc areas freak son yep Right in there is the gate where the gainer is. Oh, we do swim. have to go through water. Ten rides a second. Fortunately, we, we you don't die until you get over a thousand. And also, luckily, we have right away. You know, we, we can one. just pay fifty caps to have someone give a uh, unirradiate us. Zero four five one, and zero isn't a thing, so we actually have to have it set to ten. And there it is. Nice. Sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage. Nice. But yeah, 
that doesn't really matter because unfortunately fire damage is actually pretty shitty in this game but it lights enemies on fire so it fits with our with this playthrough and uh weapons like the flamer incinerator and the shish kebab use fire but they but they inflict energy damage but if it lights enemies on fire or uses fire visually, then I say it works. Either way, this this looks like a pretty strong gun. Ooh, calibrated. Two red X's. Ooh, and... Oh, wait, no, it's a right arm that we don't have, but whatever. Oh, red X just increases your resistance. It's red away that removes it. Oh. But now let's see if we can at least snag a flamer. Oh shit! Well, I don't want these guys to die though. Should have just run. Looks like they took care of him. Oh, that was pretty crazy. Hi, guy. Also, they seem peaceful, so that's cool. Welcome to the slum. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? It's pretty clever, making a Tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You've probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome, and that's mainly why I started up this farm. It looks like you've done well for yourself. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still. I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Good Maybe boys. we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. I like that. I think it's a great idea. You really think so? Because if you do, we could definitely use some help. We can't sell tarberries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. Hey, as long as you don't call us smooth skin. I'll take care of those super mutants. <clears throat> I promise. Good. Uh-huh. I don't think any of them died, luckily. Go. Okay, any anyway, as you can see, we managed to get a flamer. Holy crap. With, with the help of these guys, this was... But we also have, like, no actual healing items anymore. Yeah, that was a bit rough, but but it worked. So that's oh, cool. Why do we have two of these? Well, whatever. We've also got some spike armor. Do you want to talk to the, any of the other ghouls around here? Or? Not specifically right all right we should yeah i just wanted to check because uh when we were being chased by the one that had a fl the flamer uh i kind of ran in here to hide but yeah it looks like this. it looks like everyone is actually still alive so that's awesome yeah that's all great. right let's go back to the freaking uh Sanctuary? Yes. Alright. And we all... Oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah. We're gonna cut all those attempts out, but they saw when we got the gainer. So we've actually got two of our fire weapons within only a couple hours of starting. We Which don't have any ammo for the gainer, and we only have 104 f uh, f uh, fuel for the flamer, so we're not gonna be able to really use them currently, but... <clears throat> 
you're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Maybe you can be maybe you can tie me to it. <laughs> I was gonna say tie me to a chair, but that sounds weird. <laughs> 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 God damn it! This went a weird direction. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It did. Oh my God. Uh, so anyway, should should we cut that? God damn it! Should we cut it here for now? Yeah, I guess we can stop here for now, and then we'll start again next time. I keep I keep pressing start. Oh. Got a bat too. All right, but yeah, we are gonna have the first one short. We're, there's gonna probably be a bunch of cuts in here. So yeah, it's probably not gonna be up until Wednesday the 4th. But thank you for joining us, and we are actually really looking forward to this new play, th to this playthrough of Fallout 4. Yeah, this has been really fun so far. Yeah, especially since we've gotten two of our weapons to light shit on fire. Avery. And Avery, I think, wants to go. So we will see you all next time.